Alarm bells for the animal kingdom. There's a new study out warning about severe and rapid declines in global wildlife populations. Some scientists are now saying we're entering a mass extinction event. Let's bring in Albert De La Tala, who's on the story. Beginning with uh, this grim assessment in this report, tell us about the report and what the numbers are telling us, Albert. Well, Heather, the study calls that loss of wildlife around the world significantly more alarming than previously thought after finding almost half of the planet species are going through rapid population declines. It also found humans have wiped out a huge number of species and pushed many others to the brink. It's feared we could be on the urge of another of a sixth, in fact, mass extinction event, only this time caused by humans. Let's have a look at the numbers. A study from it was published this week in the journal Biological Reviews. It analyzed more than 70,000 species around the world. These included mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, fish, and insects. Nearly half of those species are declining in population size, with fewer than 3% seeing increases in population. Also concerning, even even of the species considered non-threatened by the UN's International Union for Conservation of Nature, 33% of those non-threatened species are fast declining, the study authors say, toward extinction. Amphibians were particularly badly affected by threats including disease and climate change. Fish and reptiles, though, fared better, with more populations appearing to be stable. The report found that declines were the worst in the tropics, in part because animals in the tropics are believed to be more sensitive to rapid changes to their environment. It is one of the most urgent warnings we've heard in some time about humanity's impact on biodiversity, Albert. Is there anything in this report in terms of suggestions, recommendations to reverse the decline? Sure, so looking at the biodiversity loss, the study's authors say solutions must include improved criteria around what it means to be at risk of extinction, borrowing from the approaches to conservation. Efforts like modeling and hotspot location can help to better identify areas at risk and hopefully make for more effective responses. The study's authors say we are at a pivotal moment in that humanity's focus should be protecting and strengthening biodiversity and thereby the persistence of humanity. Albert De La Tala, thank you very much. You're welcome.